Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this tutorial, this uh, live video that I'm doing, I'm going to show you how you can take some paper towel tubes, some uh, different colored burlaps, some glue and glue sticks and a little bit of fabric and create the most darling carrots ever. Seriously, you're going to love this. I um, I think they're the almost the cutest thing I've ever seen. So that's what we're going to be doing as you hop on. Say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you're watching this on replay. If you have any questions, feel free to put that in the comments. If you've made some cute carrots this year, and I know a lot of you have, uh, Joan made the most darling ones, and I think a couple other folks did too. Or maybe it was Kathy. I can't remember who made those carrots that were made out of drop cloth. But anyways, if you've made some carrots this year, um, snap a picture of them and put it in the comments so that we can all get more ideas. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, you guys remember that darling uh, banner that I made that has the carrots in this fabric. And then I showed you my candle topper, whoops, that kind of coordinates with, where am I? <laughs> coordinates with um, the banner, but on the table right in front of that, oh, and you saw my um, sign that said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. It's all coordinated. It all has little touches of orange and this. So on the table right in front of that, I have this piece, all right? It's sitting right next to my candlestick with the decorated candle on it. This has been sitting there since before Christmas when I did all of these. I don't know if you guys remember when I showed you how you can just roll up sheet music and make some good bowl fillers. Hey, Glenda, hey, Kathy, hey, Diana, hey, Mary. Um, but, so I'm getting tired of this and I wanna swap it out. So we're gonna make some carrots to go in here, like straight up and down. They'll sit next to this, and it'll just be one more little touch of orange and um, my carrot thing. Okay, so I have been saving these, um, well, my husband's been saving these for me, these paper towel tubes, for a long time. I don't even know why, but I thought maybe I'll do a craft with them at some point. And so I just got in my craft closet, and sure enough, there they were. So I made um, two of them, and I'll show you, those, you guys those at the end. I'll do a big reveal, so stay on. You're not going to want to miss this. Um, where was I? Oh, okay, so I had, had these um, just ready to go. You could, I would imagine you could also use toilet paper tubes if you wanted smaller credit, uh, carrots. So um, because I wanted kind of three different sizes, I cut this one a little bit shorter, and I'm also gonna make it so that we can make the carrot just a teeny bit smaller as well, okay? So the first step is to get your piece of cardboard. If it's like this, then you're just going to um, scrunch the bottom of it down into a little point like that, okay? Then you're gonna bend up your tube a little bit here and there, oops, I popped that one open. Let's see if I can get that fixed. It doesn't matter, it'll look like, you know, carrots are not perfect. They've always looked kind of messy. So you start like this by scrunching it, all right? I'm gonna do that with this one, but to make, to make it a little easier, I cut a slit on half of the tube, okay? Because I wanna be able to really scrunch the bottom of this down and make it sort of a point like a carrot would be. Melinda, hi. Lucretia, hi. Michelle, hi. Carol, hi. Oh, carrots in a vase. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is, it's so cute. And um, I think I got this idea from one of you guys, from whether it was Joan or Kathy that did those um, plant, painter's drop cloth carrots that were wrapped. I kind of got the idea there, and then I'm in love, obsessed with this fabric this year, and this is all I have left of it. Um, and so that's where it started. And I remembered I had all those paper towel tubes and thought, hmm, that would work. 
Okay, so I've got it um, scrunched down to a little point and I'm just gonna take some masking tape. You could use duct tape, um, clear tape, whatever you want. Uh, this is kind of nice though, because it, it does blend in. Uh, but after you wrap your carrots, you won't see what's going on underneath there anyways. Dang, I hate it when this happens. Okay, let's just cut part of that off. Okay, so I scrunched it down and we're basically just going to put some tape on the end of it to hold that in place. All right, and then where we've got it kind of lumpy and bumpy in other spots, we're gonna put a little bit more tape on that also. Oh, Kathy says she didn't do the wrapped ones. It must have been Joan. Oh, thank you, Wendy says she likes my blouse. You know what? I got this two years ago at the loft, and um, it's too chilly to wear in the winter, but it's starting to warm up a little bit here in Atlanta, and I'm so bored of all my clothes that I've just been pulling things out. And um, you guys know that I like my neutral um, interiors and my projects pretty neutral, but in clothes, I tend to go for things that are bright like this and kind of obnoxious. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a teeny bit more tape on here. Okay, what I wanna show you is see how it's dented there and then it pokes out here and then it pokes out there a little bit. That's good. Okay, that's what you want. Hey, Janet. Oh, you're so sweet. She says she loves to watch me and she loves the things that we make. I am all about um, rescuing and reusing and using what you already have. I did not buy a single thing for this project. I had everything here. So use what you have. Um, and this would be a fun project to do with your kids also. And you could choose you know, a fun fabric in a bright color, whatever uh, you like. Okay, so we're here right now. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our strips of fabric. And I really like them the best when they're all frayed and stringy, okay? So we're not gonna cut our strips. We're gonna start a little cut like that. And then we're just gonna rip it. And the more strings, the better. So I'm gonna cut two and see if that's enough. If it's not, because I don't wanna waste a single inch of this fabric that I'm so in love with. Uh, if that's not enough, we'll come back and get some more. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. It's gonna be all messy and stringy and crumpled and that's good. All those things are good. Okay. And I'm gonna start with this one because for some reason I cut it bigger, I don't know why. And I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the end of my carrot. See? Can you guys see what I'm doing here or am I, oh, shoot. You know, let me see if, I don't know if that's, is that any better? Can you guys see my hands at all? Hmm. Okay, I'll try to do it right here. Um, okay, so I just attached my little bit of fabric here to the bottom. And I'm gonna start wrapping and putting glue. Gosh, and this carrot is little, this might be enough, I don't know. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, so I have some really, I have two other things I wanna show you today that are really cool. I made some new stencils, they're custom ones. Um, and I, that's one thing I'm gonna show you is how to use this machine right here, this um, Icon Art, can you guys see it? My Icon Art uh, custom stencil maker, I'm gonna show you that and show you how to make some stencils. And then I'm going to um, show you some tea towels that are super cute that I'm making with the new stencils that I created. So it's gonna be, those are gonna be fun. The first one I'll do probably, uh oh, I unplugged my hot glue gun. Sorry, the first one will probably be about 
three o'clock Eastern time. So if you're around, if you're not working, um, look for me around three o'clock. If you're working, I mean, you can always watch my videos on replay. I guess I need some lunch. I'm super shaky this morning. The, how this comes together in the end is so cute. What do you guys think so far? What ML vinyl do you use for stencils? Okay, so this Icon Art stencil maker that I use, um, it does not use vinyl. It uses a mesh, a mesh material that's um, that is very detailed. That it doesn't have any areas that you have to pull out. It basically, when you turn on the light and expose it with a, um, a film that you've made, it somehow magically takes those parts away. Anyways, I'll show you uh, this afternoon and explain everything. Okay, we're almost getting there. Just about every craft I do is easier when I don't know that somebody's watching me, so. But on the other hand, I love to craft with you guys. Okay, so this is where we are so far. I am gonna use this other piece of fabric and I'm gonna start with the end that's frayed everywhere. And I'll just glue it over the top of what I have already. So how are you guys doing? Are you having a good day so far? Um, today is Wednesday, and that is normally my Bible study day, but because the schools where I live are closed today, um, my Bible study follows the school calendar, so I am not at Bible study and I'm sad, but I'm crafting with you guys, so that makes it better. Okay, we're getting there. We are, we're getting there. You can always go back when you're all finished and add more glue anywhere that it seems loose. And I'm gonna wrap this up over the top of my carrot. Do you see what I mean? because what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna scrunch this in and fold our fabric in a little bit and add a little glue to it just to stick it down. And we're gonna make our, our green, the, the roots or whatever. I'm about to get my crafting on for your niece's wedding. Oh my gosh, I am crafting up a storm too. I'm going to be etching that little design that represents um, the Bible verse that's from Ecclesiastes that says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. So I'm going to be making a bunch of little stencils that have that design, which I'll show you guys at some point, on my Icon Art stencil maker. And then I'm going to be, the bride's mom bought a whole bunch of champagne glasses to give the guests. And so I am going to be busy, I suppose, for the next several weeks making lots of those champagne glasses etched with that little symbol. Um, but once I get started crafting, you know, I thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, so this is where we are. I find... Okay, Terry, I'll get back to you. Um, okay, so now we need to make our grass. And um, I've been showing you this. This was some burlap ribbon that I purchased at my Kroger grocery store that now has one of those little dollar sections up front. And it's wired. That's important. Okay. So I am just going to cut it into, I cut it into some pieces that are this long and I folded it in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into three pieces. 
but not all the way. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Use what you have. If you have a cute green uh, ribbon or you want to do a neutral even, um, go ahead and do, use just use what you have. Okay, so this is one. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So the tea towel projects that I'm going to show you later, I have already figured out some of the don'ts <laughs> that I'm going to share with you. Um, I did a couple things and I didn't like it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about when I go live later. Okay, so I'm just going to put the two inside of each other. And I'm going to put a little teeny bit of glue down here. And then I'm going to fold them in on themselves. Do you guys see what I did there? And then I'm going to just pull these little green burlap strands out and we're gonna scrunch them and then pull them back out. And they look more like what an actual carrot top could look like. Okay, so this is what I have. I can scrunch and fluff a little bit more later. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it inside the top of my carrot and glue it to one side, and then I'm gonna kind of pinch it all shut. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue here and stick this guy right there. I'll show you from this angle. Can you guys see? And now I'm just gonna kind of pinch my carrot shut. Just in a messy fashion. The messier, the better. I think I'll maybe fold this part over even a little more. As you're going along, you figure out what you like and what you don't. Hey Maureen, hey Glenda, hey Andrea, hey Diana. Okay, so this is what we get. And then, do you guys remember how I showed you to make those burlap flowers, these things? Whoops, do you guys remember that? And I showed you that I had found this orange burlap for $4.88 at Walmart, and I love this color. It's amazing. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just do the exact same technique. You'll cut off a piece, and you'll pull the strings out of the center. And then you put this away and you take those strings and get them all lined up nice and get, I don't know how many strands are in here, but a good chunk of them. And you're gonna tie that around the top of your carrot. And I'll show you the other two that I made now in just a second and I'm gonna show them to you in this face. So if you like this idea, these kind of easy, use what you have sort of crafts, um, I would love it if you would sprinkle this video to your social media. And, um, and then I would love it if you join me um, at three Eastern time, and then again a little bit later for the third thing. And I'm gonna show you these new stencils that I made that are so, so, so stinking cute. And I'm going to um, be giving the image, I'm going to be sending the image to anyone who's on that, um, either one of those trainings, those uh, Facebook Lives, um, that says they want it. So I'll tell you all about that. Okay, so this is what we've got. I think this needs to be pinched in just a little bit more. And you want to leave your strings, okay? So these are the other ones that I made. This one was the first one I made while I was trying to be neat. So it's a much neater looking carrot. Then I discovered that I like them to be wonky. And so I made this one. And I made it just a little bit shorter. And it's really wonky. Look at that. 
And then we made this one. So we have three sizes of carrots. Are they cute? What do you guys think? Give me some love if you like it. Give me some hearts or um, smiley faces and let me know that you're still watching and that you like this project. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this little uh, glass. It has looks like it has a little bug or something in it. Okay. And um, I picked this up at my Goodwill back last fall um, for probably $2 and I just tied some twine around the mouth of it. And we are just going to plunk our carrots in here. And I'll fiddle with all the strings to get them neat. But what do you guys think? Is that not super cute? Okay, alternatively, if you don't want to put them in um, a jar like that, another thing you can do is just lay them in a, in a nice little pile and then tie them all together with some ribbon or some uh, jute or some twine or whatever you like, whatever goes with the fabric that you've used. So anyways, that's pretty much all I have to um, show you right now. I will take pictures and post those pictures in the comments. Um, this fabric, this burlap ribbon actually came again from Walmart in the fabric section. It was $4.88. The paper towels were free, or the paper towel holders were free. This green um, burlap ribbon came from my Kroger, but I feel like you could get something like this just about anywhere. And then I already had this teeny little piece of fabric that I love, but you could do this project with any kind of fabric, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be orange. So super affordable, really quick, no artistic abilities required. Um, and just a little bit unusual. Those are the kind of projects that, that I like to do here at DIY Dreaming. I hope that you liked them too. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments. Feel free to sprinkle and I will see you guys later around three o'clock Eastern today for another really cool video. Okay, thanks, see ya.